Today we want to go through compound microscope and it's one of the optical device that they use to view very fine specimens and uh, a few background knowledge you need to know is uh, lens has power and generally I will add one more here 0.6 both lens use which is uh, objective lens and eyepiece lens both lens are considered high power lens okay so we are using objective lens and eyepiece lens and it must be in this shape the objective lens is small and the eyepiece lens is big okay eyepiece lens is a lens where your eye is situated here and objective lens is a lens where object is being put here okay so the fo not on the same point as fe as we will see later the fo is not the same as fe and number four the optical center here the optical center here is actually considered the length l and then since we mentioned that fo and fe is not on the same point we have to say that l is more than fo plus fe okay we will consider that later again but we can do some uh, ex example here uh, when we say that they are not on the same line so it probably is something like this F O is here and then F E is here but the optical center is from here to here okay this L so it seems like there's a gap in the middle it seems like there's a gap in the middle so L is definitely longer than if you add your own length, focal length here and another focal length here, FE. Okay, so we rub off this one and we move to the next line. Okay. So the next thing you need to know is uh, post well. What is post well? Post well is one of the easy way for us to remember what kind of objective lens that they use and what kind of eyepiece lens they, they use. Okay, so this one, this all stands for objective lens. So objective lens is actually very powerful. Why powerful? Because based on P equals to 1 over F, the objective lens lens has focal length which is really short short focal length and as for IPS lens it has very long focal length for the IPS lens that's why it is weak okay or you can say it is low power 